All right, I'm on the other side of the of the interstate part of this thing. Trying to get to the workplace. Well, I am going to have to put a daggum drop of gas in this thing, y'all. Let me daggum get in behind this car. Let me get in behind this car. I won't try to cram myself in front of it and and, I, and all that jerking, jerking, you know, sometimes you got to make better choices of the best choice. There's more road is the road. And I am in dire strays of some diesel, some diesel weasel, uh, some gas for this doggone thing. And... That will be the next stop that I make. Shoot, I don't know what that's. Some of them blow something. One of the things that they taught you in uh, driving, I never did go to driving school. One of the things that they, you know, taught you, uh, some of the old school drivers that uh, kind of grandfathered me in or took me under their wing was, you got to use all your senses when driving. I use a lot of that truck driving skill into my motorcycle uh, travel and just motorcycle, um, uh, I guess motorcycle skills. Of course, you got to use your eyes to see. And that means see everything, you know, scan stuff. You know, sometimes you can see something about to go down before it actually goes down. You know, reading body language, how car uh, people or handling the cars. Look inside the car. I mean, you can look inside the back window and see if somebody's moving, you know, erratically or sporadically or whatever they're doing. You can kind of see that sometimes. And that'll help you start making a, a decision on what well, you need to back up off of them, give them some room, and you don't know something's got to come. You want to use your touch, you know, these handlebars, you can kind of feel the, the road, you know, if it's raining, you can kind of feel if it's hydroplaning or if it's getting a little light, if the road is rough, if it's gravelly. All those senses kind of work together. Smell, you know, you can smell stuff going down, you know. You start smelling something sweet, something smoky, you know. You might be looking around your bike and you smell something. Most of the time, if you smell it, it's going to be the culprit in front of you. You know, the driving trucks, you know, if you're going down Saluda Mountain or Black Mountain or any mountain for that matter, and you start smelling brakes, don't, don't think it's your brakes that you're smelling because all the smell is behind you. It's going to be one or two of them trucks in front of you that's getting their brakes hot, and you can smell them brakes. And if you're getting your brakes hot, somebody behind you is going to smell yours. So, you know, you got to use your eyes, your sight, your smell, your touch, and in some cases, your taste. Shit, I done been behind some bikes and you got your mouth open, you daggum, you can almost taste the oil, taste the smoke. You're like, what is that? You smell it, taste it, feel it, and touch it. So... Now, that taste part might not be a good example, but you, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I've seen people, uh, uh, you know, run the oil hot, and I've seen them take it and, uh, and dab a little oil on their damn tongue and see if it's burnt. Or, I ain't never done that, but uh, the, the taste is one of your senses. But I try to use all my uh, training and skills of driving trucks, even being out here, you know, if you see the police out here moving around, you might not actually see them, but if you look far enough ahead at the traffic, and you see everywhere in that one same spot that somebody's hitting the brakes, somebody's tapping the brakes in that same area, you, something, something up there that's got every one of these cars tapping the brakes. Most times, that is your first reaction if you're driving. You see the damn police, you're going to hit the brakes. So those little telltale signs, 
is uh, kind of how I, you know, do my travels and do my day to day. I don't talk about it too much because it's so much a part of me that it don't really need to be talked about. It's just, just what I do. But I'm on my way to work, you guys. I am on the daggum last bar before the red to get me a little of that old petrol. So I'm getting about 200, maybe 20 miles to a tank on this on this bike. I guess I roughly run about 40 miles uh, to work. So I do a down and back, a down and back, and most of the time I could do another down and back. I do about three trips on a tank. That uh, that uh, third trip is gonna be pushing it, but I try not to get it too low. I you know about every two days I fill it up, but I did push it on this one, and that is all right because we are gonna make it. My Waggles gas station ain't but about it might be a mile in front of me too, and we're gonna fill this bad boy to the rim. Seven o'clock. On a Wednesday, September the eighth, I might be pushing it. I ain't got to clock in at eight thirty. I usually like to be in there about an hour before it's time to hit that old clock. So Mr. Charlie be good and proud of me. And uh, there you go your popo, Mr. Charlie be good and proud of me. I go get this money. Get ready for this trip that's coming up. I have a Key West trip coming. We have a lot of people jumping on board at the last minute, and I'm happy about that. We got some good folks going, man. I just want to get out and enjoy the fruits of my labor. When I come back, it'll probably be kind of the end of my travel year, but. I'll still ride to work and piddle around and dip in the dragon, dip out the dragon, dip in the Smoky Mountains. I do some small stuff around now and try to have what? Uh oh, try to have some fun. Look like I see some stranger danger in front of me, you guys. I seen a glimpse of some uh, some blue lights. Yep, there's my light on, letting me know we are getting too close for comfort. I just went by somebody, got some sewage problems, shoot. Oh, somebody get one of them speed coupons. We do not want one of them. Let's go see what the flavor, this flavor of gas is going to cost me today. Let's go see what the flavor is. Seven octane is the same price as ninety three. Eighty seven one hundred percent gas is the same price as the ninety three. And that price is three twenty nine. Don't want a receipt. Remove. So, 100% gas, regular, unleaded, non ethanol, 87 octane is 329. Premium, leaded with uh, ethanol in it is the same price.
Let's see how many gallons we get in this bad boy. I am at the Waggles, right here on Clinton Highway. That's five gallons. I believe I can squeeze. I put 5.3 gallons in there. I believe we did all right. Regular unleaded 87 with ethanol was 279. Plus is 304. Whew. That gas is getting high. Let's take it to work, y'all. Let's take it to work. I may have to stop and get me a mystery meat sandwich. All right, you guys, I'm out of here. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of Slappy Adventures. Please like, share, and comment. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> hey, stay tuned for more videos like these. Thanks for watching.